This week's video has been made by Courtney Keat, who plays rugby for Wales and also is the captain of her university rugby team. Courtney will be focusing on drills to build core strength, which may apply more to the children in Key Stage 2 and also the children in Year 7, 8 and 9 as well, but it would also be great to see the younger children have a go. Once she has done this, she will then be doing a few different rugby skills for you all to have a go at. The six drills that follow are part of one circuit. You can do as many rounds as you would like. Do each exercise for 20 seconds and have 40 seconds rest between each exercise. If you are going to do more than one round, make sure you have two minutes rest between each. Your first drill is burpees. You need to bring your chest to the floor and then do a small jump whilst touching your head. Do as many of these as you can in 20 seconds, but don't push yourself, just do what you feel comfortable with. You can do these on your own or with a sibling. Please write the scores in the comments. Your second drill this week is star jumps. Once again, do as many as you can in 20 seconds, but only do what you feel comfortable doing. You can do this one as well on your own, with a parent or with a sibling. Write down the scores in the comments. The third drill this week is squats. This is also something that can be done alone or with a parent or a sibling. Once again, do as many as you can in 20 seconds and try and get as deep as possible. Or in simpler terms, get as close to the floor as you can. Write how many you could do in the comments below. The fourth drill is sit-ups. This once again is as many as you can do in 20 seconds. Make sure you get your back all the way to the floor and keep your feet on the floor at all times. You can do this on your own, but it may be easier to do it with a sibling or a parent to make sure your feet stay on the floor at all times. Let us know how many you could do. This next drill is the mountain climber. Do this again for 20 seconds, but this time don't keep score of how many you can do. This drill is quite tricky. This is why we say for you not to keep score of how many you can do. Just try and focus on doing this correctly. This last drill is all about balance. Firstly, you need to hop on your left leg. Do this for 20 seconds and record how many hops you can do. Try and stay in the same place as much as you can. Once you have done this for 20 seconds on your left leg, then try hopping on your right leg. Remember to try and stay in the same place as much as you can. Now tell me, which leg did you find it easier to balance on? Now we are going to start with the rugby skills. You will need a partner to help you. This first video is a passing technique. Start with the ball in one hand on your hip and push through to your partner. Do this 10 times and then swap hands. I know it may be difficult to use only one hand, so if this can't be done, start straight with two hands on the ball and push from the right side of your hip to your partner. Do this 10 times and then swap to your left hip. Make sure you follow your arms through and end up pointing at the target. The last pass is a longer one, where you stand on your side and push across your body, keeping your elbow high and pushing your arm through, making sure you point at the target. Once again, do this 10 times and swap sides. These are meant to be controlled and slow. It's not a race. This next video is the first of two catching drills and this one can be done alone. Just throw the ball up as high as possible and make sure when it's coming back down that you stand underneath it with your arms in a basket ready to catch. Keep your eyes on the ball and do this 20 times. This is the second catching drill, but for this one you're going to need a partner. Your partner can throw the ball up as high as possible, but the catching technique stays the same. Do this 20 times and then swap with your partner. This drill is called ball down, ball up. 
Run with the ball in your hands and at a certain point, place the ball down whilst running. Keep running to the next checkpoint and then turn around and run back. On your way back, try to pick the ball up without slowing down completely and then carry on running to the next checkpoint. Repeat this 20 times. This last video is showing how to catch and then pass the ball. You should have your arms out pointing towards the person passing to you, making a W with your hands. When you catch the ball, you keep your arms high and transfer it across your body. Then, whilst running, you should pass it to the other side of you, elbows high and the arms punch through and point at the target. I hope you all enjoy this video and we can't wait to see how you get on.